What's up, BOSUs, with this Criterion and Variant Dungeons basically here, let's talk about what you're going to need to do to prep for each piece of content, gearing, and rewards. Let's go over Criterion and Variant Dungeons in under 5 minutes so then I can earn that like button smash and a little pat pat for my bun. Variant Dungeons are going to be the casual version of this new content with 12 different endings that will be available. Which means you're going to have to run this a minimum of 12 times at least in order to get all the endings which probably have a mount tied to this or some sort of achievement. The minimum item level is 575 and will need 1-4 to four players. This can be soloed which is awesome for all of our fellow anxiety ridden bosus who don't like to party. You also get access to varying actions that you can bring with you in order to be able to solo or make up for the party members such as Variant Keir, Variant Rapart, and so on. Enemy strength is determined by party size, so it's a varying degree of difficulty that will stay no matter if you have one or four people, which is great to hear. You'll be able to job change and there are no role restrictions. They're gonna have a separate menu that you can see here given by the new special site being updated. Honestly, I'm quite tired of all these different content menus. I feel like these can all be condensed neatly into one place, but that's just my opinion. Rewards are going to be a minimum tombstones just like other content. There was not much else given but it goes without saying that I'm gunning for this mouse mount which looks pretty bitchin to me. There are treasure chests that were shown when Yoshi P was playing but he didn't really open any so we don't really know what's going to be in them. Criterion dungeons on the other hand is a little different. These are going to be more traditional dungeons with a minimum item level of 610 which is holy shit is basically the current casual item level. You can get 620 gear from tombstones, or if you're doing raiding, then you should be geared just fine. You can buy the craftable 610 gear, but I think it's just gonna hit really hard, so be prepared for a really tough dungeon run. I'm sure the trash will hit hard if you don't avoid the super avoidable AoEs, but I'm guessing the boss mechanics and the damage is going to hit like a dump truck. These will have role requirements that are traditional, which is one tank, one healer, and two DPS. You can queue into normal Criterion Dungeons so you won't have to worry about party finding. You only have a special raise that can be used once and then has a really long cooldown. Does this remind anyone of anything? It basically feels like Blue Mage when farming or doing the Blue Mage quest for the mount where you have one raise that has a long ass cooldown timer. You won't have access to traditional raising methods. So healers adjust. Criterion Savage, which I'm super stoked for, is basically the hardest content rules. No raises at all, so if you die you can't come back until your party dies. All enemy revives if your party wipes, and on top of all that there's an enrage timer, so if you don't beat this dungeon quick enough then you'll have to basically party wipe. I would think that Criterion would be stressful, but only it being four people, three others, and yourself, I think it's going to be a great piece of content for those who don't like the idea of an eight person static. It's also going to be better for scheduling dungeon statics, which I think will be a huge thing in the future if and only if the rewards are worth it. They haven't really said what we're going to get, but usually Savage content in regular traditional sense gives you great armor rewards, but I can't really see them offering armor similar to the current Savage tiers for raids and trials. I wonder if their intention is going to have this a long extreme in Savages, which would only matter again if it drops gear. I honestly don't see that happening, so I'm just super interested in what rewards they're going to give us to keep our interest past the first week. Variant dungeons are going to be a breeze, I think, and have a little more lore and story heavy aspects that I'm actually really looking forward to, and since you can do it by yourself, it reminds me kind of the Palace of the Dead. Criterion seems to be the hot ticket if the content doesn't flop. If this doesn't have a weekly turn in or loot or give you some sort of tangible reward like mount or gear, I can't see the reason to keep doing it other than for the initial achievements. I'm sure they have thought this through, I want to have faith, but then again, look at Island Sanctuary. That is basically dead content once you get everything automated, but that's for another video. Either way, get your gear up, find your fellow BOSUs to party up with, and let's crush this content. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified of all my videos and live streams that I do here on YouTube. I was trying to do this all under 5 minutes, which it looks like I succeeded, so make sure to hit that like button to give my bun a good little pat pat. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and videos, then you can click here.